Morning guys, what's up? I'm guessing by now you probably would have seen yesterday's video in regards to what happened and this will be the very last video that I basically go over anything in regards to it. I'm going to go over, sort of, I'm going to go over, take apart what happened. I didn't do anything last night. I honestly felt really terrible. Um, today I still feel honestly shit, but, <laughs> but you know, these things happen. Um, so today I'm going to go through and just uh, double check to see what is damaged what is repairable and what I need to fix. As far as I'm aware at the moment, literally I shouldn't have too many issues with literally just getting another hose and seeing if that power steering pump's okay. I can order a new power steering pump again. <laughs> this will be like the fourth one in two weeks or three weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's toast anyway. I'll double check everything today and maybe just put some more fluid in it, see if I can find any issues. Um, but yeah, today I'm just gonna try and fault fly and see what happened. I already know what happened, but um, just see what's damaged, see what I can fix, and go from there. A lot of power steering fluid on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, and. <laughs> I'm guessing that'd be the issue right there. Nah. Nah, you don't reckon? Nah, bit of, bit of, bit of 33. Bit of tape. Oh, I'm sure of it, yep. Bit of cloth tape, 100 mile an hour tape. Wow, oh, it's so brutal. Oh. I don't want to drop any of that in my turbo, but. Yeah, it's on the blow side. I'm in. We've got a new turbo next week anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Actually, that looks not too bad, those wires there. They haven't burnt through or done anything weird. No. Um, all those lines down there all seem to have their sort of protective wrap still around them. Mm. And it's only that cable down there that I've noticed is a bit bad. Yeah. That just tells you brake fluid flow anyway, so... It's, I mean, if you're not getting any alarms or codes on the dash... Yeah, no, there's no codes or anything. Yeah. I just didn't want any wires from my brake, brake master to go, because that... Would not be great either. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. So I, I can rewire them. That's no worries. I got heaps of wire here. Yeah. Um, I might even be able to. It's probably, it's probably just the. Are you talking about the one that the plug goes into the mask? Yeah, correct. Yeah. That's probably. That's just a, the shielding on it. Probably. You probably need to melt the wire underneath it. You could probably um, cut that plastic shield. Yeah. Because I I noticed that down here there's exposed wire through it. Oh, okay. But it hasn't actually broken it. Yeah. I'm just wondering if maybe we'll maybe cut that insulation back off it. Yeah, yeah can do. And then um, yeah, and just you know either yeah, that's no worries. And put some heat shrink on it. And yeah, heat shrink it, or just put some insulation. Like, yep. some decent insulation to around it. Oh yeah, can kind of see. It's very brutal, but yeah, yeah. I can. Yeah, that'd be right. Where did it go? Goes yeah, it goes into the file from that loom down there. So I can I can redo those wires anyway, but it'd be safe and so okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that there was the excess hose that I had on there. This here is, I just cut it really short and just routed it up underneath the high pressure line so it's nowhere near the turbo now. That's great. And then I'll just fill it with power steering fluid, yeah? yeah. And let it sit there for a bit. Sounds good. I have thrown it so many places. I, the, the one thing I that led me to believe that it was a turbo, I thought it just completely shattered itself and just destroyed everything because around the outside of the turbo there were flames that were coming up around here and around here and then also I looked at all the oil everywhere and it was all up on the back there and everything so that's why I thought that. Okay. 
Yeah. Because I, you know, at the time I didn't really look at my power steering thing and go, oh yeah. You only put more in there. Yeah. So yeah. Sit there for a bit. But yeah, no, because I originally I'm just like, oh, it can't be power steering fluid, otherwise it just would have been a gradual sort of slow leak, and then I'm like, oh, that hose, that's right. Yeah. She was gone. Mm. Oh yes, yeah. Is that manifold loose? Yeah, you pull the heat shield off and do the ten mil bolt from the back of the manifold. Ah, did you tighten it up? Did you? Yeah, I do them every time. Okay, oh, okay, cool, excellent. Hey, it's not noisy though. A good thing. Yeah, it is, I suspect it is. Oh. oh, it's run low. Yeah, she drunk it. Yep. She drunk that one. <laughs> she drunk it. Oh, it's cav yeah, it's got like bubbles yeah, and foam yeah. and shit yeah. like that in it. Um yeah. frothed up. Frothed up. Isn't froth like a cool word in New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it means you're excited mm. over something. Oh, yeah. You're frothing over it. Yeah. Oh, it's like a milkshake. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. We'll just leave that off, hey? Yeah. Turn it on again. Put the lid on it in case it falls over. <laughs> I guess it's happened before. <laughs> yep. Oh, the best thing I was able to find is actually a pocket down there. You can literally sit that perfectly in the cross member and so drain all the fluid down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I found that after I replaced it three times. Yeah. All good? Yeah. Okay, so you guys might be able to hear Jeans is leaving at the moment and I cannot thank him enough for coming around and just helping out today. I didn't expect him to come over at all and he just like rocked up and just sort of had a chat to me through the whole thing and sort of what I can do better and, and just trying to teach me about stuff that you should look out for and you know, uh, looking at what went wrong and just going through the whole the whole theory side of it in a way as well. So um, so yeah, massive, massive, massive thank you to Gene. He also drove me all the way to his place and um, went and picked up breaking parts cleaner and literally he, he, he sat here for like 15 minutes and cleaned my floor so um, yeah, still a little bit more to go but we couldn't get Sarah's car at the driver because she's out with her mum at the moment so um, yes at the moment we have the entire car back together so we have everything fixed uh, we checked over wiring there was only that one little issue up there which I, I might get to um, I probably will before the tune, but at the moment it's not important. Nothing is shorting out or doing anything crazy. Um, all the lines underneath are all literally perfect. Uh, so yeah, we've just shortened that one power steering line and incredibly there is no more damage to the Falcon. So what happened yesterday is quite possibly the luckiest thing that has ever happened to me. Which, man, I'm just, I'm very, very, I, I didn't have to spend any money to get new parts. And like, th it's... The power steering pump at the moment is still very loud, but it would be okay to drive around on. And hey, if I have to get a new pump, especially after what happened yesterday, I am. I, if it if it's only a new pump that I have to get, man, I am one happy Zaki. Okay, so at the moment I'm just gonna wait till Sarah gets back, and that way we can move her car out. I'll back my car out, give the engine bay a really good detail, just get rid of all the power steering fluid that's in there, and then we should be good. <laughs> 